Hi, this is Andre and welcome to PAR Educational. Today we will do together 500 maintenance on the 6400 calorimeter. You should do 500 maintenance either after 500 combustions or whenever you observe any degradation of the ore material. But before we jump into that, make sure you have a PAR diagram from the instruction manual, protective glasses and gloves. Prepare the calorimeter. Make sure that the oxygen line is disconnected from the back panel of the calorimeter. After that, go to the diagnostics, IO diagnostics and activate the vessel seal function. You will hear a short hiss from the back panel of the calorimeter. Now calorimeter is ready to be switched off. Open the lid and remove the vessel's head. Take off the stirrer belt. Remove the ash filter if present. And also remove the bottom check valve. Remove two screws using the flat screwdriver. Using pliers, remove the plastic wedge. Now carefully pull the bucket assembly and disconnect the bucket thermistor. Remove the white washer. Using strap ring tool, remove the metal spacer. Create force by opening the tool. Remove the snap ring using snap ring tool. Remove the assembly by pulling the shaft using pliers. Prepare the following tools. Start with the vessel head. Remove the screws and the ground stud. Set aside the plastic handle. Now remove standoffs. Remove the funnel by hand. Remove the cap adapter and catch the check well. Now remove the water diffuser. Remove the fuse wire from the electrodes. Remove the ground electrode. Start removing isolated electrode by removing the nut. Pull out the electrode and all packing structures. Some of them may require extra force. You may use fine abrasive on the electrode's ends to remove tough deposits. After a thorough cleaning, it's time to assemble it back. Normally, only O-rings require replacement, but if any of the non-metal parts show damage, replace them as well. Replace screws on electrodes ends if there are signs of corrosion or deposits. Replace all the O-rings. One on the head, four on the adapter, and one on the check valve. A general technique to replace an o-ring is to stretch it and cut. A plastic tool is preferred. Be very careful if you use a metal tool. If the metal sealing surface is scratched, it may cause a leak. In this case, it would need to be replaced. Take a fresh o-ring out of the package and put it in place. Now assemble the head in reverse order. Put back isolated electrode. Very lightly tighten the nut. It should be barely tighter than the finger tight. 
otherwise you'll crack the ceramic washer. Put back non-isolated electrode. Now put back screws into electrodes. Cut approximately 5 cm of the fresh fuse wire. Make loops on the end using pliers. And attach it using screws. Put back water diffuser. Now put back a check valve, head down, pin up, otherwise it will not seal. Screw in a cap adapter and the funnel. Note that there are two identical o-rings stacked on top of each other on the top of the cap adapter. Attach metal standoffs. Put back a plastic handle and secure it with screws and a ground stud. Use the multimeter to check the electric connection between the electrodes. The resistance should not exceed a couple of ohms. If it's not the case, the screw holes should be additionally cleaned from the buildup. The head is now complete. Now to service the bucket. Remove the bottom screw. Pull out the vessel. Place the locking mechanism nearby. Clean the mechanism from the old lubricant. There are several o-rings to be replaced. A top quadring, the bottom cylinder o-ring, washer o-ring, the o-ring on the metal spacer, one on the oval set, and three on the shaft. Do not forget an o-ring on the bucket drain. After you're done with changing o-rings, reapply the recommended lubricant to the o-rings in the mechanism. Do not apply the lubricant on any other o-rings. Now it's time to reassemble the bucket. Make sure that the o-ring is sitting in the vessel's groove. Match the vessel orientation with a pin on the wall and make sure that the brass ring is fully seated. Otherwise, you will have issues while closing the head. Reinstall and tighten the screw. Place back an o-ring. Do not forget to change the o-ring on the bottom check valve as well. The bucket is now ready. Assemble everything back into the colorimeter. Put a shaft in a concentric part with a hole towards the left. And push it down. Put back the snap ring using the snap ring tool. Put back the metal washer and push it down so that it sits flush with the surface. Place the white spacer with an o-ring. Now reattach the bucket thermistor. A thermistor plug orientation does not matter. Reposition the bucket in the air can. Push in the white plastic wedge. Secure the bucket using screws. Alternate the size to tighten them up.
place the check valve back using tweezers. Put back an ash filter if present. Reinstall the head. Attach back the stirrer belt. And the colorimeter is now ready for a pretest. It is important to keep an instrument in a good shape, not only for the best results, but also from the safety standpoint. After 5000 firings, you should do the complete vessel inspection. Please contact us for further assistance. Thank you for watching and see you around.